Oh, and thank you for stopping by the Massachusetts uh, Beer Reviews channel of YouTube. As you can tell, this is Thomas Metal 75, and this is your Massachusetts Beer Review. And today is a very interesting beer I have seen for the first time at the beer store, and I've seen this brand before, but due to it being a collaboration with... Uh, this band over here from Boston named uh, Gozu, I had to buy it. Now, Gozu, Gozu is, uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute. This is the, let's talk about the beer first. This is the, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to read that. It's, it's the Chaos. It's uh, from Alewife Brewing Company. And it is a 4.4% Goza. And it's ale brewed with sea salt and coriander, brewed and canned by uh, Great Bay Brewing Company, Great Bay Brewery for Alewife Brewing Company in Bay Shore, New York, Tart and Refreshing. I think Alewife is a part of Boston or something like that. They got an Alewife uh, station in, T station in Boston. And apparently an Alewife is a name for a woman that in medieval times that used to brew beer for a commercial sale. Hello, Leprechaun TV. Cheers there, buddy. So, all right. So, yeah, this is a beer. Let's get back to that. Um, the Goza. It is a, according to craftbeer.com, it's a straw to medium amber in color. The temporary Goza is cloudy from suspended yeast, a wide variety of herbal, spice, floral, and fruity aromas other than, you know, other than found in a, in a Lepes or Lepegs style goes are present in harm in harmony with other aromas the salt the table salt character is traditional in low amounts but may be perceivable in varying intensities uh body should be low to medium low low to medium lactic acid characters evident in all examples of sharp refreshing sourness and again they say between 4.4 which is this and 5.4 so we're in the range there yes sir rebob cheers ron sutton um, all right, let's get to, uh, uh, here's your band, Gozu. They're from, again, they're from Boston. They formed in 2008. Uh, this album is the beer you should be drinking with. You should be listening to this album, this album, while you're drinking this beer. Came out in 2018, Equilibrium. I got a link to it below, um, if you want to go to their uh band camp page and learn all about them buy some merch buy some uh, music they would probably appreciate that if you like really good things stoner metal and doom metal and black sabbath and oh i don't know Caius, those kind of musics dials put into one gozu real good stuff so let's check out the uh the uh, chaos by gozu or for gozu by l wife brewing company I just cleaned the glass so it may look wet. It is probably 69 degrees where I am in southeastern Massachusetts. It seems like uh, appropriate weather for a lighter style beer like the Gozu. All right, people. It is a very, I would call that a very hazy, cloudy looking beer. Very lemony yellow bordering on a golden color and in this glass i got a one finger head let me pour a little bit more and see what happens here uh not much more to be completely honest maybe almost two fingers one and a half i don't know if you're gonna see that but on my end there's a giant cloud of haze so it looks the part of a really good uh, goza style beer let's give it a aroma test So yes, the the uh, the sea salt is is there in full effect. There is a lime zestiness to it. There's a white bready quality to it. There's a little bit of a pilsner crackery kind of a malt to it. I don't know exactly what they're using here. Um, I'm on the Alewife website. They say the Goza is metal as shit. Thank you. I like the sound of that. Good enough to drink one and then crack another to spray over a sweaty mosh pit at Warsaw. Holy crap. Uh, brewed with the guys from Gozu. This sour is for meth cowboys and manimals. Hey, Juicy. 
a juicy goza, uh, full deep flavors and coriander with a hint of salt. Yes, there is an herbal kind of herbaceous quality about that too. So pretty plain Jane and simple, but that's a goza for you nonetheless. So, uh, yeah, cheers to the boys in Gozu. Uh, go get their album Equilibrium and uh, support metal wherever you can. Cheers, everybody. That's goddamn delicious. That is with the Gozu style. Gozu style with the Goza style. It certainly has always reminded me of a more salty, um, electrolyte kind of heavy version of a lemon lime style Gatorade. And this one is absolutely no different than that. I'm getting I'm getting a a barley malt. Um, kind of an aftertaste in there. Super dry. Not very sweet at all. But the sweetness is is some lime. And the tartness is playing into the sweetness. With that bready, white bready, biscuity style of malt. So not too shabby on that in that regard it's super super refreshing there's the refreshments off the charts in this beer it's almost like a key lime um sparkling kind of seltzer water the key lime is the liminess to it it's reminding me of a key lime pie without that amount of sweetness to it, if that makes any sense. Um, so this was, this was uh, $16.99, I believe, for a four pack. And that's what they're selling it for on their website. If you actually go to the Alewife Brewing Company to pick it up. So at least they didn't do me wrong on the, on the price by not going to their brewery to buy it. So that's pretty good. Um, I haven't had a bunch, I've had Gozas before, but I have not had a bunch of Gozas in my lifetime. However, I'm liking this one. This one's pretty good. It's a little bit, I'm noticing it's a little bit, and that's probably just the style alone. It's a little bit on the, on the acidic kind of burn side of things. Just when it sits in the stomach, I bet you it has a high acidic level, an ass. Level? Yeah, it probably does. So, I mean, other than that, I'm I'm liking this. I don't have a great. I want to give this a 94. Perfectly awesome beer for the uh, summer months coming up here, late spring. Uh, I just don't have a really good base for Goza, so I'm gonna have to maybe. When I get to liquor stores more and more, I will pick up some other gozes when I see them or just kind of try to sprinkle in more tart, sour beers just to get more on this review channel because I drink them, not frequently. So you people haven't really heard much about sour and tart ales from me on this channel. But yeah, 94. I'm... Pleasantly happy uh, with this particular brew. So, yeah, 94 for the uh, Chaos in collaboration with the band Gozu from uh, Alewife Brewing Company. Again, go check out Gozu. Cheers to you, mates. And uh, go check out their album, uh, Equilibrium. It probably, I've heard some of it and I've listened to Gozu. Again, you like Caius, you like High on Fire, you like uh, Black Sabbath, you like Doom Metal. Put it into a nice little package uh, with some great guitar playing and some great vocals. Queens of the Stone Age, all those great things. You will love you some Gozu. So uh, go check it out. Go check out this beer if you can. We will sign off for now. Until next time, keep tasting those great beers. Cheers. We'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, everybody. And if you would like to donate 
on PayPal to uh, this email address. That would be uh, greatly appreciated. All proceeds on PayPal will go towards uh, review material. And if you have a special review material you would like me to review, put it in the uh, message when sending me PayPal. I will leave the email up as we sign out. But until next time, cheers.